Built in 1870, this once gorgeous house was home to a prominent settler in the region. A man who not only farmed his land, but was also elected as a councilman for the township, and then also elected as sheriff for the county. Shortly after his death in the 1890s, his family that included 10 children sold the homestead, and during the next century, it was home to five more families. In 2006, the house and property was purchased by a numbered corporation, and despite being identified as having high cultural heritage value, it has sat abandoned and decaying for nearly 20 years. Starting right at the front door of this one, and it looks like it's in bad shape. A lot of damage, a lot of decay. It should still be a lot of fun and very interesting. Let's get at it. So I'll show you the front door real quick before we get into the rest. There's a lot of damage. Let me get my light turned on. A lot of old tiles in here that I can see so far. This front staircase looks like it would have been beautiful in its day. I see all the paint peel. Where there was a light fixture or chandelier. To this room here, you can see it's all kind of hang, sitting up at the side there, was French doors. Wow. Molding all the way around the ceiling. Nice big bay windows. And the molding where the light fixture is, what's left of it. Over here, this looks like a bathroom, and look at the wallpaper. Wow, it's wallpaper even on the counter. Still an intact mirror. This wallpaper is something else. You can see it's just separating from the wall. And then small room, probably was a bedroom. A lot of vandalism in here too, unfortunately. Broken windows and silly graffiti. The only thing that's left of the rails on the staircase to go up. Oh, look at this wallpaper. Now that is some wallpaper, geez. It's got the metallic shine to it. Very old doorways and doors, not just doorways. <laughs> What's left of the fireplace? Wallpaper in here is wild. Oh, geez. Looks like the kitchen floor has completely caved in. The fridge is sitting on its side in there. Wow. Hopefully, we can find another way over there. Looks like some old appliances. We'll see what we can do about that after. Oh, 
Well, this looks like it was a little sunroom. Wow, this house would have been so gorgeous in its time. I don't know about this wallpaper, but the house itself. Wow. Is this a closet? Oh, well, that's the way down to the basement. Should we do that right now? Yeah, let's do the basement right now. We're here. Oh, this is a creepy old basement down here. Just the furnace and hot water tanks and all that. Bricked off doorway here. Oh, there's nothing that annoys me more. I don't like it when there's areas that I can't get to. There's a tarp hanging here, as you can see. It almost looks like a little table kind of set up with the rocks and all of that. With a painted rock on top. Weird. That's weird. You can see some scrappers have been here. room is just creepy a deep freezer here should I dare try to open it I don't even know if I can it looks like it's not on its hinges oh, there's nothing in it some rust I'm ready to get out of this basement not enjoying it down here. What is this stuff here? Okay. Not much. See what we can get to on the second floor. There's a hole right out to the sky there. Yeah, I don't think I'll be... I might try to walk over there afterwards. We'll see. What in the heck? There's like a makeshift rope ladder here. Going to the attic. Definitely not going to trust that to try to go up. It does seem pretty sturdy. No, I'm not going to do that. Smaller size bedroom.
Looks like some more crazy wallpaper. Even on the ceiling. Or what's left of it anyways. And then a wall of built-in cabinets. And see, it still had the old style uh, doorknobs when they were there. With the skeleton keys. Oh, look at the wallpaper in this room. They had a ton of closet space. wild and even this built-in I guess you call it half wall with cabinets very nice look at this wallpaper in this house is just something else And down to the staircase I didn't even notice that mirror on the door to the bathroom down there well I guess it's time to uh, see how sturdy this floor is over here it's not sturdy there's holes right there I so badly want to see what's on the other side of here. Okay. Just bouncing on where I'm standing to me. I'm put my light away so I can hold on to a wall. Let's see if I can make it. Animal prints in the snow up here. Got a good grip on a wall beam. Get my light back out in a second. Once I feel safe with my footing. Okay. Made it over. Which is a closet. It looks like a bedroom. Pretty empty. Just a bunch of graffiti. And one heck of an echo. And another bathroom. I'm not going to walk too far into these rooms though. Unless there's something really cool that I see. I busted up TV. Okay, the toilet is in the bathtub. Hole in the ceiling. Jeez, I'm out of here. I don't... This is really risky to go through gonna head back downstairs see if we can get to that kitchen
really not seeing a safe way to get across here. Hey. There's more to the kitchen, but the floor is just not safe. I'll get over and I'll get to a spot where I can get a shot of the kitchen at least. It looks like there's more to the house over there though. So I might have to go out and see if there's somewhere on the back that's open. Yeah, there's a whole other area back there. Alright, let's go do this. This side door is open to get to that other area. Look at these glass blocks that were beside the door. Ooh. The floor is a bit squishy. Look at that big open room. A lot of graffiti. Looks like office furniture, satellite dish. You are next. There was a door there. A lot of broken glass everywhere and broken bottles. Yeah, we're back to the kitchen with no floor. Washer and dryer also falling through the floor there. Wish I could get into that kitchen, but it's not looking good. Is this over here a bathroom? Yeah. Very small bathroom with a shower stall. What an interesting house. What an interesting, interesting house. It's pretty crazy. Very old. Very cool explorer. There's a lot of natural decay, unfortunately. Some vandalism. What a cool one. You're all going to have to let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and of course, as always, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Whew. And I'll see you all on the next adventure.